Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a space weather news update Sunday, August 14th, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. A plasma filament has ejected from the sun, creating a coronal mass ejection that could be, well, is subhalo. And that means it's headed towards us. A solar filament located in the vicinity of AR 3076 erupted earlier today, just after 1130 UTC. A partial halo coronal mass ejection was flung into space and may possibly have an Earth-directed component. It has been concluded that there is an Earth-directed component to this coronal mass ejection, and it could be a, quite a significant glancing blow. Not because of the size of it, it was a moderate CME, but the fact that it is coinciding also with a coronal whole stream. Now we have the eruption in multiple wavelengths. You want to focus your eye right on here as we go into the 14th. And you'll see it erupt right in this region. There it is. There's the filament. There's building. And there it pops off. And then we can go look at 304 angstroms at the same filament right here forming and blasting off. That's actually the best view, filament forming, blasting off. So it was there prior, but it thickens, the rope thickens right before it explodes. You can see it, it it's blasting off a little to the right, but when you come over uh, to, to Lasco C2 and C3 here, and we'll just step this through here for you, you're gonna see the halo component here. Keep a close eye down there. And you can see this rings all the way around the shockwave. And once it's covering half of that disc, it's coming this way. So first there was a small CME that popped off in the south here. And we can see that uh, as I step it through. Small CME coming off the south. Then right around 1442 on this um, monitor here, you can see that filament blasting out in all directions. So we have a coronal mass ejection headed our way, and it is modeled here to arrive sometime on the 17th, late on the 17th into the 18th. And that coronal hole, coronal hole 14, will be Earth-facing-ish tomorrow and the next day, and that, that stream may arrive sometime on the 18th or 19th. So they may coincide with a double one-two punch. The CME would rise the KP index up to five or six, and then the coronal hole would hit, and that would send us into moderate or even major geomagnetic storm. But this will be a great test for our waning magnetosphere. This one-two punch is kind of what we're looking for to see how the Earth responds. So if this coronal mass ejection arrives on late on the 17th into the 18th, and the coronal hole follows it right up before that plasma speed drops back down, we could see some interesting effects on planet Earth. So keep a close eye to the channel for more updates as we dive deeper. Now, if you want to know how I get all these great movies made, it's hard to find yourself. It's over at soho.nasa.com.nasa.gov backslash data backslash data.html, which is the Soho page, um, which there, it's hard to get to this actual page where you can click on Movie Maker. And... What I mean by that is you're going to first come to this page and this page, and this page, and you have to move yourself through the website to get all the way to Soho Movie Maker. And once you're at the Movie Maker, you pick the image site. Do you want it from C2, C3? What are the satellites you're looking for? Then you pick the resolution. Then you pick the time and dates. Then you generate it. So if I want Lasco C2 at 512, for just the 14th, I'll pick the 14th through the 14th and generate it. And it'll show you how many images you have. And it's exactly what we just showed you. Small CMEs popping off here. And then there's that filament. And then you can play around with the knobs and adjust the speed. And that's how you make movies on the Soho Movie Maker. So, hope you got something out of that. Just a little tidbit to end with here. We've been talking about the changing magnetosphere and the effects in the aurora for about six years now. And the effect, the fact that these luminous, transient luminous events, TLEs, in the form of blue jets are a new phenomenon. First witnessed in about 1989, now they're being witnessed everywhere. And here's another example of that. This picture of a blue jet was captured in Texas at the, on July 27th by Matthew Griffiths. He was out there uh, 
trying to take a picture of something else. But when that didn't work out for him, wow, he certainly got a good picture. Now, there's some ground lightning here connecting, but the blue jet continues above. Now, this was a long exposure, exposure, so according to Matt, the blue jet could have occurred before the ground lightning occurred. It's anyone's guess, but more transient luminous events, more blue jets, sign of the times. And that's a boom to knowledge. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just put them below. And all the links to the video will be below, so you can go check out everything. And don't believe what I'm saying. Do your own homework. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And tune in for the fireworks on the 17th and the 18th as a coronal mass ejection, well, is coming to Earth at the same time a coronal hole will meet us. One-two punch. That. Well, that's a space weather boom. Be safe. We love you.